Tuesday afternoon, the Bayo Teachers Union marched in front of City Hall demanding a fair contract and also calling out Mayor Jimmy Davis, claiming that he hasn't lived up to his word. Around 200 teachers marched from their headquarters on 497 Broadway to City Hall, located at 630 Avenue C, in the latest chapter of their ongoing feud with Mayor Jimmy Davis over their contract. Davis penned a letter to Board of Education President William Lawson on November 30th, urging the entity to approve a retroactive contract agreement with the Bayonne Teachers Association, effective July 1, 2015. However, BTA President Alan D'Angelo deemed the gesture an insult, since the teachers' union is looking for a four-year contract, also accusing the mayor of union-busting for publicly putting out a recommendation in the midst of negotiations. D'Angelo, equipped with a megaphone, again went after Davis in front of City Hall at around 4 p.m. today. The reason we walked to City Hall, we wanted to let the mayor know he promised me before he was mayor that he would support the teachers and work to get us a contract before he was elected. After he was elected, he said the same thing. He spoke in front of a hundred of our members and promised us a four-year deal going forward and that he would do everything he could to get that. He hasn't done that. As a matter of fact, he's hurt negotiations by going into the newspaper. We don't negotiate in the newspaper. We negotiate at the table. And he knows that. What he was trying to do is split our union. And we're not going to let him do that. That offer that he made, or that he recommended to the board, gives 80% of our members nothing for $20 a month. That's that deal. And if he's not in negotiations, then he should stay out of the paper and keep his mouth shut. However, let me let you know, I spent most of last summer and before that in his office and in the conference room negotiating with the mayor and DeMarco. So I don't know how we can say he doesn't play a part in it. Everything goes through City Hall in Bayonne. This town is turned into a tale of two cities where there's the haves and the have-nots. In the board event, if you're related or a friend of the right person, you get a promotion. When you get a promotion, the last 10 promotions came with a $60,000 raise, but they don't have any money. The rest of us are the have-nots. Now, not only do they want to offer us a meager, fair settlement, they want to try to take our medical away. That's not fair. Do not put your medical, it's not negotiable. We expect the city and the board of ed, hopefully with five new members, we'll get some fresh blood, some honest blood, some, some people that are willing to do the right thing because that isn't what's happening. No one was available for combat at Davis's office after the protest concluded, but he previously laid out his position in a prepared statement which partially says, The people of Bayonne overwhelmingly agree with this idea and voted to establish an elected school board independent of City Hall and City operations. Therefore, a march on City Hall, while I'm sure makes for a good headline, is just that, an attention-grabbing tactic that is used to distract the membership of the BTA and the general public from the facts. Mr. D'Angelo's efforts would be better spent pressing the newly elected school board for a contract agreement, not City Hall. Lawson also could not be reached at his office late Tuesday afternoon. I'm John Hydus from the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.